guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a super fun one. It is another installment of the fall series here on my channel that I'm doing in the month of October. Today is going to be a tutorial on the look you see that I'm wearing today. Um, this look is actually in partnership with a bunch of my friends here on YouTube. We all wanted to incorporate fall drinks into a makeup look, which is super unique and fun. So I actually chose the drink Hot Toddy, which is typically a hot whiskey drink mixed with things like honey, herbs, and spices, and mulled. And I I love hot toddies, especially when it's chilly outside. It's just the perfect time of year. So I ended up taking a photo of a hot toddy and incorporated it into my eye look and I'm obsessed with how it came out. It is absolutely beautiful. So if you guys would like to see everybody else who is going to be participating in this, their channels and information as well as the drinks they chose will be listed in the description box below. All the girls that have participated are people that I have mentioned on my channel before. They're all great friends of mine. So definitely check them out before you go. And if you guys would like to see how I achieved this beautiful, warm, yellow, orangey fall makeup look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have pulled my hair back with my little uh, kitty ear headband and we are going to start on the eyes. I have already done my foundation, my powder, my brows, and I've primed my lids as well to make this video just a touch shorter than it normally is. For my transition shade, I'm going into the Tartlet Toasted Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here called, Ca oh, hello, called Cashmere. And I'm just going to be placing this into the crease and bringing it pretty high up to the brow bone. For this look today, I'm going to be doing a spotlight eye or a halo eye, if you will. So I do want to bring this transition shade all the way to the inner corner as well as to the outer corner. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade also from the Tartlet Toasted Palette in the shade Warmth. This shade is so powdery, you guys, look at that. I just dipped in once, look how powdery. And this I'm going to keep in the crease as well, just not as high as that transition shade. And again, we're gonna be bringing all of these shades into the inner corner. Now moving into the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I'm going to be taking this shade down here called Blazing, and we're going to really make this nice and warm by putting this over that last transition shade that we used. Now taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna be going into the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and going into this yellow shade, there's no names, but we're gonna take this matte yellow shade and just blend out the top of our orange transition with a little bit of the yellow. Now going back into the Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to be taking this shade Oud right here and we're going to deepen up the outer and inner corner of our eyelid. I'm gonna be taking a flat synthetic brush and I'm gonna be going back into that yellow shade from the Zulu palette and I'm gonna pack this on the center of the lid kind of as a base to a shimmer shadow that we're gonna put on next. We're just gonna kind of blend this into the brown on the inner and outer corner so you have a seamless transition. Using that same flat synthetic brush, we are going to be going into the Violet Voss hashtag palette and taking this yellow shade right here called Truth and we're going to be putting it on the center of the lid to mimic the lemon in the drink. I'm gonna try this with a wet brush to start with and if it's not vibrant enough then I'll go in and use a glitter glue but I think this one should be okay. These shadows are pretty creamy. It's not vibrant enough, so I'm actually gonna go in and just put it onto my finger and apply it that way and see if I can just amp up the intensity of that yellow. Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. And now using Oud once again from the Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to go back over the inner and outer corners as well as the crease just to kind of mesh that yellow shade into the corners seamlessly. And then once again, going back in the Zulu palette, taking that yellow matte shade, and we're going to be blending out the upper crease one last time, just to re-intensify everything we lost throughout all of the blending. Okay. 
Before we went to liner and lashes, I want to work on the lower lash line. I'm going to start by taking the brush that we used Oud, the dark brown on, and not adding any additional product. I'm going to run this along the lower lash line to just deposit some of that deeper color that's already on there. I then want to do the exact same thing with the brush that we put the yellow on and run that just along the bottom of that deeper color to help blend it out. So now that the actual eyeshadow is almost done, I'm going to hop off camera, apply some liner, mascara, and lashes, and I will be right back to finish up the rest of the eyes. Okay guys, so I used the Baddington Lashes in the Style Monroe. For my lashes today, I did a super teeny teeny baby wing and I did end up smoking it out just a little bit so it wasn't such a harsh black line. And then I also added a little bit of brown and black um, eyeshadow on the lower lash line and some mascara. So we are going to line the waterline with the Marc Jacobs, oh gosh, what are these even called? Highliner Gel Eye Crayons. And this one is in the shade Roe Coco. For the inner corner highlight, I actually think I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be going into this yellow shade again from the Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to be using that matte yellow on the inner corner. For the highlight under the brow bone, I'm going to be going into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette yet again and taking the shade Nefertiti right here and using this just to highlight underneath the brow. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade of bronzer and I'm just going to kind of faux contour just to kind of bring some warmth back into the face and carve out a little bit of my features. For blush, I'm going to be using the NARS blush in the shade Final Cut right there. I'm actually gonna warm up my blush just a little bit more using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush in the shade Hummingbird Hype. It's honestly a highlighter, but I like using it as a blush topper. It just adds a really pretty sheen and a warmth to whatever blush you have on. You can kind of see how it gives a really pretty glow. And for my highlighter, you can never go wrong with some good old Champagne Pop by Becca. For lips, I'm going to be lining with this Buxom Plump Liner in the shade Incognito. And using a Makeup Forever Bullet Lipstick in the shade Matte One. And that's it, you guys. This is the finished look. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is so beautiful, especially with somebody who have like blue or green eyes. This is just gonna make them just pop. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you guys do decide to create this look, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see using hashtag lipstick, lashes, and wine. Also, if you guys have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. There is a lot of fun stuff still coming for the month of October for my fall series that I'm doing here. Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite fall drink is and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!